Hi everyone, welcome to Filipino Time. We are doing an unboxing video. My name is Francis Aguila and this is my nephew. Giancarlo Barmeo. This is my Rolex GMT 16700 and its nephew. The Tudor Black Bay GMT Pepsi. We're going to unbox this thing. Well, we kind of did already, but we're going to unbox this thing in front of you and uh, have a lot of fun doing it. Let's get started, John. So please take it away. Okay, so here we have the Tudor 79830RB Black Bay Pepsi GMT. So, let's open it up. There it is. Okay, so this tutor runs on an MT5652 movement, which gives it 70 hours of power reserve. The movement is actually in-house by tutor and not anymore at ETA. It also shares similar architecture with the Rolex 3285 in their GMTs, which it has a very smooth sweep and high beat. The watch is also anti-magnetic and can go down 200 meters. Now, the Tudor has a 41mm steel case with polished and satin finish. Now, when you first look at this watch, you'd think that it's a Coke with the bezel, but actually it's a Pepsi. The blue on this bezel is just quite dark, so you would think it's actually black. Well, the, uh, the bezel is an aluminum bezel, which is a nice throwback to the earlier watches uh, of Rolex. And Right now, we actually have one of those, and this is a 16700. So, aside obviously from the size difference, definitely you can see the difference in color. I think Tudor did that on purpose to give the Black Bay its own identity, but definitely even with the shape of the case, um, you know, the, uh, the way that the dial is uh, laid out and the indices are laid out on the bezels, you can see definitely where the influence came from. Okay, so then again with the bezel, the bezel is actually bi-directional. So you move it, you can go left, you can also go right. Does this go left and right? It does not. It does. Haha, -ha, there you go. See? I don't even use it watch that much. But yeah, see, so it does go bi-directional. Okay, so Actually, this bezel is made out of aluminum, right? Now, onto the two-door dial. Now, lots of people actually think that the dial is a flat black, but when you look closer in person, it's actually quite, could you say, pebbly or wavy given the texture and quite some detail hidden in the dial. Now then again, you have your traditional Tudor snowflake hands with a red GMT hand. Then you have a single date window and a domed sapphire crystal. However, there's no Cyclops present. Now, about the crown. So it's actually a steel screw down winding crown. So have to, in order to adjust the watch, of course, you have to unscrew the crown. And if you look at the side of the crown, you can see the Tudor Rose emblem. Okay. So now, let's look at the case back. Now, on this Tudor, the case back isn't really that interesting. It's actually quite plain and covered, so you can't really see the movement. Now let's move on to the bracelet. So this unit, this specific tutor, is actually wearing a steel bracelet with riveted links. However, when you order your tutor, Black Bay Pepsi GMT, you can even have it on a brown leather strap with folding clasp and safety latch 
or you can even order it in a black fabric strap with a burgundy band. Now, in my opinion, I say that the appearance of this Tudor, it's overall a mix of both vintage and modern, given the different characteristics present throughout the watch. What's your opinion on it, Tito Francis? Well, I agree with you. It is a really great marriage of new and old. And um, if I may, Jan, do yes. you mind? And, well, as you know, I quite like older things, um, my age, I guess. But the case shape definitely harkens to the older watches versus the current uh, maxi case on the uh, Rolex GMTs. But at the same time, it's a 41, whereas the older ones are 40s. And I think the 41 is a great size, bigger than um, what you would normally expect. It definitely has a bit more presence, but not too overbearing. I agree with you. I really love the dial on this thing. Um, and I love how the uh, aluminum uh, bezel was a, is a matte finish rather than a glossy finish. And it gives the watch its own character to separate it from the older uh, Rolexes. But at the same time, definitely by using that you know, dark blue, almost a maroon red, and then the textured dial, it definitely gives the watch a bit more of a modern flair, but at the same time, giving it that just enough of a vintage look that you know, if you guys are out there, don't like how the new Rolex GMTs look with the much larger fonts, and the much larger looking case, uh, then you have a great alternative here. I also like the, um, the bracelet on this. I think they've done a good job of maintaining that oyster look, but at the same time, giving it a little bit more character with the rivets on the, on the, on the sides. It's something that you wouldn't notice in the, in the beginning. So let me just turn on the sides. It's something you wouldn't notice in the beginning. Sorry guys, there you go. But it's a nice little detail nonetheless. The size of the crown is also quite nice, bigger, beefier, matches the case uh, much better than you know a, a smaller crown would. The only thing I'm not so fond of with this new Pepsi GMT for two-door is the thickness of the case. I think it wears quite thick. Uh, I think it's, well, I don't think. I know that it's because of the movement. They had to make more space in the case for it. But that being said, it's definitely not a deal breaker for me. You know, Giancarlo, I know it's a great watch, but I also know that it's quite difficult to find nowadays. Yeah, it's still quite difficult to find at this time. But if you're lucky to chance upon one, you can find one for around, let's say, 260,000 pesos. Wow, that's quite a bit more than its uh, retail price. Yeah, but I think it's a cool piece. I agree. Um, I think it's a worthwhile watch to own. I'd love to have one myself. I do own um, a GMT, as you guys saw, but this is definitely something that I would still love to own, whether or not I had uh, my 16700 or not. Mm -hmm. All right, Giancarlo, final thoughts? Well, given my own opinion, I'd have to say I really do like this Tudor piece, given all the finishes, you know, all the details, given that, you know, it's a GMT and has all these cool functions, especially with the new in-house movement. And honestly, I might disagree with you here, but I'm the type of guy who likes big watches. But since, of course, I have a bigger wrist. So I actually find this thing really, really cool. Well, aside from the, uh, the size thing, basically, I agree with everything you said. And so um, I would also love to own this piece. It's, uh, quite frankly, even at the sticker price above retail, it's still half the price of even a used uh, GMT, 16700, 16710. And so if you're looking for a Pepsi with, well, let's face it, Tudor is Rolex's baby brother. So it has, does have that Rolex sheen on it. Then, you know, the Black Bay GMT might be your might be for you we hope you enjoyed this episode unboxing the two-door black bay gmt pepsi if you like what we're doing don't forget to leave a like hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon too so you'll get notified about our upcoming videos and as always please everyone take care and thanks for watching see you next time